Let's use a financial calculator to compute the yield to maturity for a coupon bond. So here is our, um, our problem. This is what we're starting with. And so let, let's just real quickly uh, make a list of uh, some steps that we're going to follow. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to think of, uh, since, since everything here um, is expressed as a percentage of par value, we're going to think of par value as 100. Second, we need to construct a timeline. And third, I want to identify all of our various inputs. And then finally, we're going to use the financial calculator. And I'm going to be working with the uh, BA2+. Uh, plus. Uh, starting with a par value of uh, $100, what does that mean for coupons? So coupons annually is going to be 5% of 100 or 0 0.05 times 100 equals five. Now, since this is a bond with semi-annual coupons, we know that that's going to be split into uh, two payments of 250 um, every six months. And so our semi-annual payments are going to equal 250. Okay. Now let's go to a timeline. So our timeline, since it is a semi-annual bond, it's going to have 12 years times 2 equals 24 semi-annual periods. And for each one of those semi-annual periods, we're going to have a coupon payment of $2.50. And then the full par value will, will, will be repaid at time. 24. So there's our par value repayment. And so the price of the bond is just the present value of all of this. So here are the cash flows. And so the PV of that is equal to the price. And we're told that the price is 102% of par value or um, here, that would be 102. So 102 is uh, the price. All right, so what's the yield to maturity? So the yield to maturity equals discount rate that sets PV of the cash flows equal to the price. We can easily solve for this um, using our financial calculator. And so what are our inputs going to be? So our inputs are going to be the following. 100, that's your time in cash flow, so that's going to go into FV. 250, which is the annuity payment, is going to go into PMT. 24 is the number of payments. So that's going to go into N, and the price of 102 is going to go into PV. Now, uh, we've got our sign convention here. So for this bond, we're going to think of um, all of the payments and the uh, par value repayment as inflow. So that's something that the owner would receive. And so the price is an outflow. It's something that the owner would pay. And so that needs to go into our calculator as a negative number. All right, so let's go to our calculator and uh, put these in. So I've got 100 that goes into FV. Two and a half goes into PMT. 24 goes into N. 102 with a negative sign goes into PV, and now I'm ready to compute I. So I compute I, and I get this uh, number. So out of the financial calculator, then, 
um, I have an I equals 2.3895. Now I'm not quite done. What I need to remember is we're dealing with a semi-annual timeline and so that is a semi-annual rate. We want to express yields maturity as an annualized number and so YTM is just going to be this I that we calculated multiplied by 2. So I can go back over to my financial calculator. I'll say times 2 equals 4.7791. So yield to maturity reported as the answer would be 4.7791 percent.